A young couple was excited to bring their son into the world, but then they received some devastating news. Doctors advised the couple not to have the baby, but the couple couldn't face the idea of not having their son and continued with the pregnancy. Then, something unbelievable happened. Veronica Senchenko and her husband, Guy, were overjoyed when they found out they were expecting their second child. The couple already had a daughter, so they were thrilled to discover they were having a baby boy. This time, their family would now feel complete. However, their happiness would soon be overshadowed by doubts and uncertainty. Veronica and Guy embraced every moment of the pregnancy and were delighted by their daughter's excitement at the thought of being a big sister. Everything was going as expected, and the couple couldn't have been happier. At 21 weeks, the couple received a call from the doctor's office requesting additional tests. Doctors were concerned that the baby could have some medical issues and wanted to get a good idea of what they'd be dealing with. Naturally, Veronica and Guy were worried at this news but made their way to the hospital a few days later for the tests. Concern was etched across their faces as they sat in the sterile waiting room, awaiting the results that could shape their family's future. It felt like they'd been waiting for hours, and Veronica could hardly bear it anymore. When the doctor finally entered the room, he explained to the couple that the tests had shown that their son would have severe health issues. As the doctor began listing all the things that their child would be born with, Veronica and Guy felt numb. How could something that felt so right and perfect have so much wrong with it? They couldn't believe this was happening to them, and what the doctor told them next made their whole world crash down around them. The doctor concluded this long list of expected complications and health issues by strongly advising terminating the pregnancy. The Kupla were told if they gave birth to this child, they could have no life due to the around-the-clock medical care he would need. Veronica felt like her heart had shattered. The dreams of holding her son, watching him grow, and sharing life's joy seemed to slip through her fingers. The doctors painted a grim picture, describing a life filled with challenges and sacrifices. They warned that caring for this child would consume their days, leaving little room for anything else. The couple were adamant, though, that they wanted to see the pregnancy through despite the devastating diagnosis that their son had received before he was even born. Alongside medical conditions such as a heart defect, growth problems, and hydrocephalus, doctors also warned that their son would have severe developmental and learning delays. Sensing that his advice was being ignored, the doctor upped the pressure, telling the couple quite frankly that their son would be nothing more than a monster that would drain them physically, mentally, and financially. They couldn't believe a doctor would use such words about their son, and they left the hospital feeling shell-shocked. Weeks passed, and the couple began to share the news with their closest family and friends, but they were often met with the same reaction. Everyone was concerned about the diagnosis and how the couple would cope with such an ill child. Veronica and Guy felt defeated. At a time when they should have been celebrating and seeing the smiles of their family, they were being met with disapproval over having their son. The relentless pressure from the medical professionals took a toll on Veronica and Guy. Bringing a child into the world with such difficulties weighed heavily on their minds. Yet, Veronica could not face the idea of ending the life growing inside. Something told the couple that bringing their son into the world was the right thing to do. They both agreed that if their son wanted to live, he would. As the due date approached, Veronica and Guy tried to capture as much of the pregnancy as possible. The couple took photos of the bump and of themselves cradling the bump. Their smiles hid their fears and sadness. They decided not to tell their daughter how ill her baby brother was, and seeing her growing excitement every time she felt the baby kick, or when she spoke to the bump, made their hearts ache. Not only were they not getting the healthy son they'd wished for, but it felt like their daughter was being denied the chance to be the wonderful big sister they knew she would be. Eventually, the time came for Veronica to give birth, and they welcomed their baby boy into the world, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. They named their son Aro, a name that would soon come to mean strength and hope. The doctors, however, were not done with their interference, they continued to pressure the couple, urging them to consider putting Arrow up for adoption. The medical professionals insisted that caring for the child would be an incredible burden, predicting a life of hardship for both parents and the child. Arrow continued to fight through, and the family still insisted that if their son wanted to live, he would, refusing to give in to the pressure. Veronica and Guy sought further tests for their son, fearing that the doctors had been right. They found the 
themselves back in another waiting room just months after they'd been told they would give birth to a monster. The couple agreed that no matter what the results were, they would love and care for their son. As another doctor entered the waiting room, ready to tell them the test results, something unbelievable happened. The results revealed a different truth, one that contradicted the initial devastating diagnosis. Aro had Down syndrome, a condition the couple had been prepared for and accepted with open hearts. Aside from this, Aro was a fit and healthy baby. The couple were in complete shock. Furious and disheartened by the realization that the doctors had misled them, Veronica couldn't help but feel betrayed. The couple had been pushed to the brink, used to make life-altering decisions based on inaccurate information. In Russia, where societal norms often dictated the fate of children with Down syndrome, the pressure to give up Aro seemed overwhelming. After doing some research of their own, the couple became convinced that the original doctors had known about Aro's Down syndrome, and that was the reason they'd urged the couple to terminate the pregnancy. Despite the odds stacked against them, Guy and Veronica made a courageous choice. They chose to defy expectations and keep their son. In a society where 85% of babies with Down syndrome were placed in foster care, they stood as a rare example of love winning over societal pressure. A year after Aro's birth, Veronica wrote a heartfelt letter pouring her emotions into words that touched the hearts of people around the world. She shared their journey through pregnancy, birth, and their first year with Aro on a Russian social networking site, and the post quickly went viral. In her letter, Veronica expressed gratitude for each day with Aro, emphasizing the joy and strength he brought into their lives. She praised Aro for being far stronger than they were. Far from the predicted burdens, Aro required no more care than any other child. He played with his sister, bringing laughter and warmth into their home. Veronica shared how loving and gentle her son was. She expressed how proud she was of her daughter for accepting Aro and that she had become the best big sister. Speaking about the family and friends that had once shown disapproval over Aro, Veronica shared that everyone who meets her son falls in love with him. She said she didn't blame her family and friends for not understanding at first. After all, they were only listening to advice from doctors. Aro's story provided hope for families facing similar situations. The tiny boy, who had been called a monster, showed the world that strength and hope can be found anywhere, no matter the challenges. The couple were glad that they had ignored the advice of doctors and acted on the love they already had for their son. Aro changed the family for the better, and Veronica and Guy showed the world the power of believing in parental instincts. Veronica ended her letter to the world with a touching statement, My beloved son, thank you for choosing our family and our lives. Life is beautiful. Now it's over to you. Can you believe how wrong doctors got Raf's diagnoses? What would you have done in this situation? What emotions would you have felt? We would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.